Thank you, Art. On this Mindful Monday, we're diving into a crucial topic that affects healthcare accessibility for all of us, rising hospital volumes. Recent studies suggest hospital visits are not only returning to pre-pandemic levels, but they're projected to increase significantly over the next decade. To help us understand what this means for us as patients and healthcare systems at large and our community, we're joined by Heather Shimmers, president of Gunderson Health System. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. Thank, thank you. you so much for having yes, me. Yes, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. So recent reports indicate, you know, these hospital volumes are expected to rise over the next decade. So can you just explain why this is happening and what can we expect here locally? Sure. Um, I wish it was a simple, easy yeah. answer, but it's not. It's compounded of multiple things. Mm -hmm. The first being the baby boomers. Okay. The, a very large population of people, about 76 million people in the United States of America are aging yeah. and their health needs mm -hmm. are growing. So that's a large group of people that are kind of aging into the need of healthcare services. And we also, of course, like you said, pre post pandemic, mm -hmm. all those people that delayed their healthcare needs okay. are coming back and those needs have compounded. And then I think advancing technology, healthcare has gotten smarter and mm -hmm. we've gotten um, stronger and the need for preventative care and care that can get to a disease a little bit faster than it ever has in the past is available. So we're we're building up and getting ready for it. Okay, so a, a lot of factors there, not one scary thing or, or any, you know, one cause behind it. Correct. Okay, good to know there. And so which areas of hospital care are projected to see the most significant growth, would you say? Well, so all of them. Okay. <laughs> I will rank them um, accordingly for you. So emergency room visits mm -hmm. continue to, to grow. We're okay. seeing about a 9, 10% increase in emergency room visits. Our outpatient visits, that is really where we're seeing a lot of growth. So those visits that you don't necessarily need a hospital admission mm -hmm. for, that you can have like a same day procedure or something like that, those are really, um, those are double digit percentage growth uh, okay. projections. Also inpatient visits. Mm -hmm. So the complexity of healthcare is growing, complexity of disease is growing. So we are seeing an increase in inpatient care. And then of course, last but certainly not least is the need for behavioral health services. Okay, and I know that was mentioned particularly high in our area according to one of those reports, right? Correct. Okay, um, and so then how will these increases affect patient care? Uh, and then what's Gunderson doing to address it? Well, so uh, patient care is and always will be our number one priority and uh, we're gonna rise to the occasion and mm -hmm. we're rising to the occasion by using advances in technology. We're using technology as a tool. It's not necessarily the only solution, uh, but we also are just continuing to transform. We're transforming, we're looking at healthcare differently than we've ever looked before. One of our key strategic pillars is to transform care delivery. Mm -hmm. So perhaps in the future, you may be able to see a doctor different than you do today or get a procedure done a little bit differently than you do today. So stay tuned, there's lots of advances, lots of really exciting things happening in the world of healthcare. Okay, great to know there. Um, anything that we can do as patients or the community to adapt to these changes in hospital volume? Yeah, I think the number one thing you can do is prioritize your health, prioritize yeah. your wellness. Believe it or not, healthcare systems don't really want you to come to the hospital. Mm -hmm. We'd rather keep you out of the hospital by keeping you well and keeping you healthy. So please schedule your wellness exams, do your preventative care, um, get your mammograms, get your colonoscopies, do all of those things so we can treat you upstream and not have to deal with the situation when it gets a little dire. But know that we will have a space for you when those needs arise. Okay, great. And then finally, before we go, we know that Gunderson is going to transition to Amplify here pretty soon. Uh, so how will this change impact your ability to address these growing healthcare needs? It's gonna strengthen us. So Gunderson is strong. We are a very strong health system. We continue to get stronger. And by merging with Bellin Health System, we have just gotten um, even even more uh, services. We've gotten a little bit smarter in the way and how we're working, we're sharing services. So we're just continuing to kind of muscle up and make sure that we're able to keep costs low, which is really important and be able to transfer that down to the people in our community and take care of the communities that we serve. Okay, Heather, well, thank you so much for being here and telling us about such an important topic. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, no problem. Stay with us, we're back right after this.